What is up, ladies and gents? My name is Mr. I Try Hard, and welcome to FNG episode 49. Now, uh, episode 49, one away from 50, man. I, I feel kind of nervous, but that's that's just me. Um, as as always, we have our usual co-host Kelly, but but Chiz could not be here tonight, so I don't know what the fuck he's up to. But anyways, Kelly, what's up? Hi. All right, and uh, as a guest, last minute guest, we have a, a good friend of mine, uh, Eat My Diction. Diction, what's up? What's going on? Ah, oh, such such a good radio voice, Diction. You should you should get into radio. You know, you need, I, you know I should. I should. <laughs> WKBBL. There we right go. In the morning. <laughs> Right. Uh, as always uh, on this podcast, we like to go through what we've been playing this week. Um, let's start with uh, the first one on my list is uh, Diction. Diction, what have, you been, what have you been up to this week? Well, I was playing Modern <clears throat> Warfare 3. Really? And then, and then Skyrim came out, so now I'm playing Skyrim. <laughs> I did play some Modern Warfare 3 <laughs> this morning just so I could record something. Are you telling then... me you'll never play Modern Warfare 3 ever again? You'll be like, no, so I will. All I right. will, but it's gonna be it's gonna be tough to pull away from Skyrim. Okay, so you so you like Skyrim? We'll get into that a little bit later, but uh, yeah, that's all yeah. you, you've been up to—just Skyrim and my MW3. Uh, gaming wise, yes. All right, all right, that's cool. Kelly, what have you been up to? Uh, school as usual and gaming. MW3 as well as Skyrim. All right, I like the originality there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cool because you know what? I I have nothing different to say. We we've um, God Modern Warfare Three. We've all been all, all over that. You know, it's, this is the release week, um, and uh, I like raged so hard at Modern Warfare Three last night that I went out and bought uh, Skyrim and uh, played about I'll say 30 minutes of Skyrim last night and uh, had had a blast actually that was a that was a good game but uh, since this is the release week of Modern Warfare 3 and uh, we have the biggest biggest uh, Call of Duty fanboy here uh, as a guest uh, I, I would love to know uh, <laughs> Dictions <laughs> Dictions <laughs> if you guys don't know I'm, I'm, I'm trolling but uh, we have a uh, huge Come fan of, of, of COD uh, Diction mm-hmm. what do you guys uh, what do you guys, what do you think of Modern Warfare 3 well, I mean, that's actually not entirely untrue. I used to be a huge COD fanboy. Huge. When like was when this? Black like COD Ops, 2? Oh, okay. Like, yeah, no, no, no. From COD 4 on, I was I was really big into it. Um, and, I mean, I like I, I made it a very, very public that I was not terribly excited for MW3. And it came out, and it's not a bad game, but it, nothing in it's blown me away. It's just kind of like... Very, very familiar. Not in, like, a horrible way, you know? Like, like not in, like, a super disappointing way. Just kind of, like, I kind of saw this coming. I kind of saw it coming. That it was just going to be, like, the the gameplay that they've been trying to refine and then a bunch of bells and whistles thrown on the whole thing, you know? That's a good way to place it. That's, that's a good way to put it because it's not like if anything is really, like, tremendously different. Like, there's still – yeah, sure, I mean, strike packages are in and that's kind of new. But I like that, though. I like the strike patch- packages. I think I think that was a really smart move. It is, but it's not like – you know, the move from COD 3 to COD 4 was drastic. The move from uh, World at War to Modern Warfare 2 was huge. And yeah. now, it, it, like the step, I think is is maybe a little bit smaller. I don't think it's it's that big. I don't think it's I don't think it's awesome. Uh, it's different. It's a it's it's a change of pace. But I'm just wondering how long uh, it's going to take before you know half the YouTubers get bored or you know viewers stop watching. It, I mean, I don't I don't know about the viewers, but it already seems like everyone in the community is pretty done with the game. <laughs> <laughs> like I that's mean, sad. I don't I think half the community is really enjoying it. I see half the people really enjoying it, half the other half not. Yeah. I think YouTube has ruined a lot of these games for us, though. That's a good point. I know, like, There's... before YouTube, I didn't rage. I just had fun. It didn't matter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I try not to concern myself with, like, getting good gameplays or anything, because, I mean, I'm not that good of a player, so I... Even if I tried to, I'd probably just fail anyway. Oh, you so, should do a video where you just try hard and then just fail and then just post that. That's every video. That's every <laughs> video I've posted ever. <laughs> what are you talking about? Sorry, you're like in try hard mode all the time and just it's not working out. It's either try hard mode or just fucking around mode where I where I like take like the dumbest guns and I'd run around and try to try to kill people with. Them. I, I don't. <laughs> so that's know what's how you fun about that. the game for me. I like I like experimenting and doing weird goofy shit. You know. <laughs> 
I I hate getting raped, man. And whenever I try to no one likes getting raped. Yeah, right. yeah no. <laughs> I, no one wants to be a rape victim. Whenever I try something funny or something quirky, like a quirky setup, like I'm like, oh, okay, so my subs they don't want to see the famas anymore. Let's uh, let's go ahead and rock something ridiculously stupid, and then I just end up going negative. I'm like, fuck no, I'm not. Nah, I don't want to deal with this. I mean, this is not worth entertaining my subs. I mean, you guys can just watch my famas gameplay. Here you go. But <laughs> but uh. I know exactly what you mean about Modern Warfare 3, man. It's There's something about it that makes me not want to play for seven hours. Like it, it used to be when Black Ops came out. Like it used to be when Modern Warfare 2 came out. I did not want to put that game away. But now it's like I'll play for, like, you know, maybe two or three hours, which is, you know, a long extent of time, that's granted. But it's mm-hmm. still not... I don't know. There, there's something less addictive, but... For some, somehow, I got a feeling this is going to be exactly like, like like when Modern Warfare 2 came out. People are going to love it. People are going to hate it. And then people are still going to watch the videos hating on it, you know? They're not going to watch something yeah. else. They're not going to want to watch, you know, Battlefield 3 more. They're just going to want to watch Modern Warfare 3 and how bad that game is. <clears throat> Epic voice crack right there. Yeah, I know. That was pretty good. What are you, 12? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I don't know what. Uh, something's up. Whatever. Do, do you age differently up in Montreal? Is yeah, that how dude. that works? So, so puberty hits at 28, <laughs> and uh, my 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 balls are in the process of dropping. But uh, it's it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> no, but man, Modern Warfare Three. <sighs> Whoa! You could choose two different. Wait, sorry. Never mind. <laughs> 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 Kelly, that's a topic. What, what uh, can you do in Skyrim? Tell me yeah, what you can yeah, do in Kelly, Skyrim. I need to know now. No, I just didn't know that you could go with like two different people. Like I, I'm, I try to play again, so I have like my Let's Play, and then I have my own game. Okay. And I went with a completely different guy at the beginning that I had no idea about, like hanging out with him. What? Uh, yeah, because that that game is so open ended. Like you can do whatever the fuck you want with it. Like anything. Y- yeah, I feel like if you can just go in and uh, choose one thing at the beginning, and that would completely divert you from whatever you did in your previous game, where you're, where, where, where where like you finished it and you you thought you were done with it, but you can do like a completely other storyline for some reason. I don't know. That's just the way I see it. But I'm I'm a Skyrim noob. I, I don't. I, I never played Elder Scroll. I never played anything at all. Uh, but really, really enjoying that game. And apparently Kelly is too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone is. <laughs> but anyways, man, back on Modern Warfare 3, back on track. Uh, that game, it's good. I feel like it has a potential of being great if they fixed a few things. And one of the things that really bothers me is the maps. I'm not sure how you guys feel about the maps, but... I'm not looking forward to any map. Like, whenever, like, the voting screen comes up and we're supposed to be voting for the maps, yeah, I'm like... It's like, it's like the turd sandwich douche. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Where's, my, where's my random? <laughs> yeah, Why where's can't... random? <laughs> Even though I know that's just as bad of an option as the other. I know, part. right? Like, nobody voted random back in... I was uh, like... Uh, go for yeah. it. I, well, I was, I was just like, I've never been, like, that huge on, like, which map's good, which mm-hmm. map's better. Like, obviously, that like, Wasteland was a terrible map, and they should have never done that in Modern Warfare 2. Mm-hmm. Like that, like those are no brainers. But it was just like I, I, uh, I'm with you. on like every time I, a map loaded up, I was like, I can't tell if I hate this map or I just don't like it. Yeah, like yeah, it's I not don't a like single map where I enjoy. I'm like literally like, okay, this is awesome. I know what I'm going to do in this map. Like, no, it's always just like, eh, can we, can we not do this? Yeah. That's everyone. Like no one likes the maps at all. Yeah. It's weird because I feel like most people, they don't like a map because they did poorly in it. And I think that's like a general statement we can make and it it, it applies to me too. But (laughs) I feel like the maps I do poorly on and that I eventually end up hating are the maps that are more than one story, right? What what I'm trying to explain here is is maps with like buildings and like third story. Verticality. Yeah, yeah. So like like three-story rooftops for people to lay on. And there's this one map called Lockdown. I'm not sure if you guys know about it or mm-hmm. even have played it. it it's got yeah. uh, a flag on b which is right in the middle of everything. And it's surrounded by three buildings with second-story rooftops. And, like, you can just aim at a window and, like, just sit there and constantly aim your fucking gun at b And, like, that flag is a death trap. Nobody's going to go there. What's the fucking <laughs> point? And, but, like... People keep on playing that map because I don't know why. Because they like to sit and because they can exploit that. <laughs> yeah, they I can know. exploit something to win. They'll do it, man. Oh my God, even the vegetables and the sacks are different. 
<laughs> Talking about the carrots? Yeah. So, well, before I had cabbage. It was cabbage in there. Oh. Now it's carrots. Can you boil it? Can you boil the cabbage? I hope so. I like cabbage. Where yeah. can I Where can I buy these these cabbages? In my, is this in the prestige shop? I don't know. Uh, can, yeah. Can you help yeah, me? it's with uh, a prestige token. Oh, all right. Oh, God, I... I'd love to, like, throw cabbages at people as a secondary weapon. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I have a conspiracy theory on why the maps are so awful. Right. I think that was an intentional design choice in order to further emphasize people buying the map packs when they come out or yeah. buying the Elite package and the Hardened Edition. You know what? That may not be the entire truth, but I think that that's going to be the end result. I think people will buy the maps because they hate the maps now. You know, people, uh, ever since COD 4, I think, the original maps were always the best ones, right? They were always the ones to look forward to. They were always the ones that got voted. They were always yeah. the good ones. Like, they, like nobody... they're simple. <clears throat> they're really simple. Yeah, and then, and then like, they get quirky. Like, they, they, they start adding fucking zip lines. It's, and there's cars everywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah, every, there is. Every map's a fucking parking lot, man. <laughs> it is. Like, you're, it like, is. You can't go anywhere without getting exploded. Can I say something? Steps. Okay, do you know why that that happens? It's because nades, they don't instantly blow up vehicles anymore. Uh, if you throw a nade at a car, <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, but like if you throw a nade at a car uh, that has like 100 percent health or whatever it is, uh, it's not going to blow up right away. It takes uh, it takes a nade and three uh, assault rifle bullets to, to to beat a car. So, wow, beat a, yeah. So that's why you, like you're running next to a car and like magically get get blown up. I think that's a bad design choice, by the way. Uh, Activision, if you guys are listening, nades, nades need to kill. It's uh, they, they need to blow up shit. Uh, Black Ops had it right, man. It, if a nade landed at your feet, you were dead. Now it feels like if I have to pick up the nade to die, it's like, oh, I have flag jacket by default now. What's the point of even worrying about nades? Because I get hit markers for days. I don't know about you guys, but uh, fucking... <sighs> I don't know. So many things are so blatantly wrong with the game. Like, like just theater mode, for example. I don't know if you guys have messed around with uh, theater mode at all, but... Uh, they... I know it lags out your game when you're playing, if did, you have it on. Did you turn it off? I haven't turned it off, though. Oh, dude. my connection Oh, amazing. it gets so, so much effect. better. Yeah. It, it really? Yeah, I was raging. I have had, like, knife kids, lunges but... and shit like that happen to me. No, which like... I, which is lag, apparently, so... Whenever you get killed, just watch the kill cam and count how many bullets you shot and then realize that you're missing three or four in that kill cam. And yeah. uh, turn off theater mode, man. It, it helps a ton. Yeah, I was running on a two bar all day yesterday, and I turned off theater mode, and I was getting three KDs every game. Like, it helped a lot. Tips and tricks on how to build your KD with K-pop? Can, can we expect that in the future? Be turn off theater sh- mode. It's like turn off theater <laughs> mode. <laughs> turn off theater mode. Everyone's video. making their like theater mode videos <laughs> yeah. now. I I've just seen too. a bunch of people upload them. And they're all bitching at each other. Oh, this guy did it first. That guy did it first. Like, oh my god. Yeah. Don't tell them to turn off theater mode so I can keep pawning to noobs. If you do that, yeah, then the Rubids is going to be out of a job, man. I was uh, I was making a video today and I couldn't quite finish it, but. It was explaining why connection is so important in this game versus Black Ops. And uh, let me see if you guys agree. I'll, I'll lay you out my uh, thesis here. So uh, back in Modern Warfare 2, everybody, uh, not Modern Warfare 2, but, uh, Black Ops, everybody used the FAMAS, right? The FAMAS yeah. is a uh, high rate of fire, low damage gun, all right? So it puts a lot of bullet down range, but it doesn't hurt all that much. Um, whenever you fire a FAMAS uh, at the same time as your opponent, you know, trying try to kill each other, even if there's lag, uh, you're still putting ten, 10 bullets back there. You know, you're, you, like, you can still kill a guy, like, let's say the FAMAS takes four bullets to kill, right? You're, you're still putting 10 bullets down the field, you know, take away lag, you're maybe losing two or three bullets, so you, so you still got seven bullets to kill the guy. In this game, you have the Scar L, which is, I guess, the preferred assault rifle, you know, that and the G36. But they're all low rate of fire, high damage guns. They kill faster and with less bullets, but they don't shoot as fast as, let's say, a FAMAS. So when you do the same thing, when you round a corner and meet a guy and shoot, you're only putting four bullets down there. And maybe you're losing one or two. So you need to be on target. You really do. I think this, that's that's the reason why people are complaining a lot about connection. That that's that's the reason I was. I switched to a uh, a gun that has a, a higher rate of fire, and I'm doing much 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 better now. I'm just good at the game. I just put I just that's put cake on every better. gun, and then I can't I just, miss. You put cake on the gun? Cake. 
Oh. I, I just laid out oh, a thesis put statement to you guys. <laughs> I, I just, like, dissected Call of Duty in two minutes, and you guys are like, I'm just good at the game. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Maybe it's just because you're terrible. Oh, try I hard. Know. Maybe I am. I don't, I don't know. I was doing... I went a one night where I couldn't go positive. I'm not going to lie. I couldn't. I could not go positive. And that's, like... When I go negative, it's a terrible game for me. And that's... I'm not... I'm not playing well. But, like, this... this I was just pissed off. I, I I didn't break anything, but I was I was at that point, man, where I was like, oh, I gotta do something else. I really, really do. And I, Kelly was right, like on Skype, being like, dude, you just gotta chill. It's it's fine. You just gotta relax. <laughs> yeah, I was going negative, like when I first started playing too, and then I got used yeah. to it, and then I started doing a lot better. Mm-hmm. But uh, the whole theater mode idea it saved me a bunch, and it really, really helped me out. That's why the Type Ninety Five, by the way, guys, when. When you're on a four bar, it feels like if you're God and like you can just like one bullet people. But uh, whenever you're not and you have a bad connection to the game, um, you feel like if you're getting like three bursts into the guy and he's not even dying, he's just turning around and shooting in the face. But uh, yeah, that's 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 Modern Warfare Three in a nutshell. Uh, if you guys were to give an early score to Modern Warfare Three, like a one week score, not even like a three day score, do you guys uh, do you guys got a score for that out of ten? A score for what? Modern Warfare three, like the first. Oh, like, like first a, out of, out of ten, or out of out of I don't know. Like uh, let, let's just do like uh, like Nuck Fuggins' podcast on one to boner. <laughs> um, uh, like quarter chub. Only um, quarter. Ch- oh, wow. Okay. I don't. I don't know. I'm enjoying it now, so I'll give it a boner now. I can't. You know, I can't say I'll keep saying it's gonna be a boner. Yeah. All right. I'll give it a three quarter. Chub. Some boners fade, man. Yeah, yeah, they do. I they mean, just go they, away. It might have like premature ejaculation. Oh wait, how about this? Okay, whiskey dick. I'm giving it whiskey dick. Okay. Like I want to get a boner about it, but but I but there's so many problems going on with the alcohol in my brain that I can't get the boner to go. Yeah, you know what happens a lot though too. People like really complain about Call of Duty the first week it's released, and they don't realize that a lot of these connection issues are also. That a lot of people are playing the first week. Yeah, that's true. We got to give props to uh, Infinity Ward for actually making a game that, that doesn't crash on release day. Um, yeah, Black I mean, Ops. I know Modern Warfare Two crashed. Oh, like, Black the Ops servers were down you, and Black Ops. Yeah, Black Ops at midnight was impossible to play. It was, it was, it was impossible. Like you would sit in a in a lobby forever, and you would wait like for half hour, and then eventually you'd get into a game with like three people. And uh, they would quit, and then you would just forfeit, and then you do do that again. Like it was just lobby wars. I remember people making videos about it. It was bad, but this game actually played okay. Like people, I don't know if it was because the game was leaked a lot, and it kind of like slowly increased the, uh, I don't know, like the workload on the on the. It's not servers, but whatever the fuck it is, it's whatever the fuck. And uh, I, I think that that may be because, but uh, I, to be honest, I, I I don't know. But still, it worked, and. Uh, <laughs> I think, God, I want to like this game, man. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wants to like it, but it's just not happening, you know. Man, not like not like everyone hates it. It's just like I I can safely say that I do not. I'm not enjoying it as much as I enjoyed Modern Warfare 2 when that first came out. For like the first like two months, I was having a blast with that game before everyone started exploiting like one man army and Commando. Oh yeah, actually, Modern Warfare you know. Two was great. It was so much fun. People start exploiting everything. I feel like it's just become such an old process. It's like kind of a grind, you know. And since yep. like the you know, the whole community has figured out a lot of things about the game that they know are going to return in each iteration, that it just kind of makes each new release a little bit dif- more difficult to enjoy because there's those people that are already jumping the gun, exploiting all these all this stuff that makes the the game not as much fun as it. W- but once was, you know. Here's the thing. They took a step sideways with this game, right? It's not like a great leap forward. You know, no, it's a step it, sideways. Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's a step <laughs> sideways. And, but they, they, they took some, some, step back, uh, some steps back in a few things, right? Look at theater mode. You can't access the scoreboard mid-game in theater mode anymore. There is no dolly cam in theater you, mode anymore. You have to I back out home. of... Excuse you me? have to back out Xbox. You have to back out of the yeah. lobby. Yeah. You, put you can't bring friends... You can't bring friends anymore to yeah. watch your shit. Uh, what's up with that? Uh, they said it was. I feel a like game. it was just it was just like a big fuck you to Treyarch, probably. <laughs> they no, said I that uh, Black Ops was like that too. They didn't have those things right away, but they patched them in there. Hopefully, well, if they patch it, then it's not a big deal. They said it was uh, a com- uh, quote unquote completely revamped, 
And uh, I'm going to quote Woody on this. We had this uh, little discussion. He said he thinks it's it's it, it's a key uh, – it's a code for they didn't share code with Treyarch at all and had to do it all over again. And I think that's the truth, and I think that's what they did. They just, like, half-assed a theater mode because, you know, people would be bitching if there wasn't one anyways. And uh, that's, that's clearly a step back. Another thing is uh, – Connect, not not connection. But how do I want to explain this? Um, let me see. Uh, I'm trying to find a right way to say this. Connection in general. Um, you know, people can bitch about the connection in Black Ops and how bad it was, but I think it. There's no way I can tell who's host, right? When I when I jump into a Black Ops lobby, all I got to do is hit start, and I see the scoreboard. Pull that up. I know exactly who's host. I know what connection I'm on. In this game. I don't know who's host. I, I, I have a four bar. It's not working out for me. I'm, I'm losing gunfights. I feel like I'm lagging. I press select. Like, I'm still on a four bar. Um, at one point, everybody's on a one bar. Like, what's up with that? Like, it, it, it can't be true, right? This is a host. This is – it chooses somebody to be host. That's, that's the point of not having dedicated servers. And yet, I still can't tell who's host. Even the host has bad lag. Like, it, it – I had bad lag as host in Black Ops. Really bla- uh, bad lag. Bad lag. <laughs> We're all, like, mumbling our words tonight. But, uh, yeah, I, so did I on PS3. And then I switched to Xbox and figured out that that was a problem. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I be hating. But, uh, yeah, man. So, yeah, they took a, f- a few step backs in a different, uh, different aspects of the game. And uh, I feel that... The whole two companies fighting for... Well, not fighting, but, like, working, quote-unquote, hand-in-hand together to make a game, you know, year after year. I think that, like, this is just a proof that it it just doesn't work out. I I, I think they should give, like, one company the rights and, like, the deal to do every Call of Duty. And I think it's going to end up being a better game. Like, Treyarch would not have made this game. This would not have happened. They would have made... A game that actually had decent theater mode and ran differently for some reason. But, like, no. They gave it to In- Infinity War, and that's that's the whole deal. And, you know, they're sticking to their whole... This is a sequel to Modern Warfare 2, you know? This isn't a sequel to Black Ops, so... Well, no. It's really like there's two Call of Duty series. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm trying yeah. to get at. Like, they improved Modern Warfare 2 with Modern Warfare 3. Treyarch improved World at War with Black Ops. Yeah, you know? they, they, they don't share... They share very little aside from, like, basic game mechanics. And the, and the title and the way like the multiplayer generally works like that's about it they don't even say they don't even uh share the same game engine don't uh, black ops was a was a was an altered version of the world of war engine and that's like it's a big mistake for them to do things like that because there's a lot of people who don't even like know that it's two different companies doing these yeah. things yeah so they think it's just the same company and they're like why the out. fuck are, why the fuck is this game in the 60s where's soap where's price like exactly stop it. just stop it <laughs> uh. honestly it's activision and they're i feel like if if it, if not in the near future, then in the future, this series will definitely go the way of Tony Hawk and and Guitar Hero. Exactly, like one hundred percent, I believe that. And I think Modern Warfare Three is like the first really big step in that direction. Wait, are you unless saying... they make a drastic decision and change up the way that they're making this game every year, it's it's just gonna it's just gonna dissolve into something that people aren't gonna fucking care about anymore. But there's gonna the have to be shooter, another you know? shooter that comes out that people like more like with tony hawk like the that game skate really yeah that that was slowed it down. awesome because they fucking re-innovated the the control scheme and, it, and it's a lot more fluid than tony hawk was and yeah they and then activision was like well fuck we can't copy them so we have to do our own thing we'll make a giant skateboard peripheral that barely works <laughs> that was bad we're activision we love peripherals <laughs> The bigger the box, the better. <laughs> Let's just make a plastic skateboard and see how that goes for them. Do but, yeah, I think there has to be another shooter come out that people are going to like. And, obviously, it's not Battlefield. No. Um, I, I it's think too slow paced. I like Battlefield, but First, it's a completely different game. It's a niche market, right? People on Battlefield love Battlefield, and that's fine for them, and that's great. But it's a niche market. It's not going to apply to a lot of you know mainstream people. And I, it's, it's, it's Call of Duty is kind of lowest common denominator shooter fare. Not is. to like salt people who play it, but it really is like 
such a bare bones like concept to to grasp how to play that game you know i mean it takes a lot to like really play it well and to understand the maps and all that shit but when it comes down to it it's, it's so easier friendly. it's so easier yeah it's just why true. like user friendly games are, are what do well so yeah it's because true. people don't want something yeah. too complicated think about it's, it like you're you're a complete the of video games it's, it's yeah. very very accessible you're just a complete noob at, at, at first person shooters you buy call of duty you have to select a gun that that looks nice and a secondary and you choose your nades and you're you're off to the to, to the races you're good to go and then you can start shooting noobs when you're in battlefield you have to select like if you want to you know use a tank proficiency or if you want to drive a jet and, and people are like what the fuck i just want to shoot people in the face and I'm like nope 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 you have to like drive this plane and i don't know it, it is it much rewards more it rewards team play which people are not about very very people, much so. people people are really competitive in spirit and part of that is also being competitive towards their teammates and that call of duty is extraordinarily at fault for that mentality I've I've been in so many like matches with friends where we weren't working together. We were working oh, yeah. to get the most kills in our leaderboard. You know, it's like and whatever. It's fine, but it, it's just kind of like when you give them a game like Battlefield where that's not it's, that's not a, a what do you call it effective. And it's not appropriate. Like, you actually have to help your teammates in order to win. Otherwise, you're just going to be the douche on the team that lost the game for everyone. Yep. People that play Call of Duty don't accept that. They can't understand it. It's yeah, it's like- true. Like, think about it. Um, how many times have I played with a YouTuber and, and like, we're, like we're, we're almost losing and I got to put on, like, a flag jacket class in Black Ops, hop on a flag to save the game and, you know, they're, they're camping some three-story building and... You know, getting that YouTube game, and you know, as long as we win, they 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 can post that game so they don't get trolled. You know, yeah. You get trolled though if you don't if you're playing an objective game and you don't even try to help. I hope yeah. you get trolled now. A lot. I hope you get trolled. But then again, there are those trolls who like instantly want to troll if you don't have any caps, but like they don't understand. You know, maybe maybe you're pushing past beat on, and you know you're holding that place for your friends to cap. You know that like I've I've done that plenty of times before. Yeah, where... no, I have too, and it, it's annoying. Like I'll get two caps or something, and like that's really all I had to cap. There was really nothing to cap. And they'll be like, "Why didn't you get more caps?" Well, because I didn't have to. There was no reason. <laughs> For that, like some people are weird. I even put yeah. up a video recently about how to spawn trap on Village, and uh, there's a there's a nasty spawn trap. If you guys know Adom, which is in the in the waterfall, I guess um, they they'll spawn behind there. Even if you got them triple capped on Adom, and then they'll spawn there forever. So as long as people don't go into waterfall, you can basically hold that spawn. If a guy holds Jeep and a guy holds Well, um, those are my super elite GB callouts. But uh. <laughs> uh I put up a video and people were like, oh my god, you're playing Domination like a fucking gay ass. Like, they were calling me names and they were like, this is not the way to play the game, you're bad. And I was like, oh my god, like, I don't know what would make viewers happy. It's like I gotta cap 17 flags, let them flip spawns and, you know, rock a Kimbo secondaries or whatever and get a good gameplay out of that for people to be happy. And even then, there are gonna be people saying I'm a tryhard or whatever, I don't even know. I don't I don't care anymore. I guess it's because my channel is probably more... I don't know, maybe gameplay oriented, I guess, where I, I whereas you, you people are more entertainers. And... The hell just happened? I'm sorry, I'm moving because I was just twittering. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think it's full of fun. Do you have to do jumping jacks when you tweet? Is what the hell is dead? Like, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with you. No, I was setting down my controller. <laughs> like, oh, you set Mike. down your controller? Kelly, that's not sitting. I don't know why I sounded so offended, though. (laughs) No, addiction's like asking if you're all right. Like, fuck you! I was just tweeting. Fuck you! I'm tweeting. (laughs) I'm tweeting, bitch. Shut the fuck up. All right, all right. So Skyrim came out last night. We all have the game. Um, Let's do a roundtable on this. Any first thoughts? Any, I don't know, first ideas about it? It's amazing. Really? Yes. Yeah, no, the only uh, issue I've noticed so far is uh, it's a little awkward fighting at times. Like, it's not as yeah. fluid. Yeah, we were having this this discussion earlier. It, it's it's hard for some reason to properly hit the person you want to hit. And it feels like if, I don't know, I was using a sword. And uh, I like my my whole range of motion when I, when I whip the sword, it's like 
fucking if I'm hitting like 17 people and I'm not hitting anybody and I don't know how how far to stand away from a person to hit them and like I'm swinging midair and getting hit back and it I don't know if I'm getting used to yeah, but I, it it does get better once you get used to it and you understand it better and one like I I've been really enjoying like combining magic and my like one-handed weapons so I'm like throwing fire at their faces and slashing at them it's so fucking fun I love it uh, that's something I haven't unlocked yet I'm uh, by the way I'm I'm, I'm a huge Elder Scroll noob and I never played the games before. I got a little bit into Fallout, which I guess is kind of like this game. It's right? like the same engine. They built that on the Oblivion engine. Alright, see, so, so it's, it's kind of like that game. And uh, yeah. one thing I find is awkward in all these games, and this is maybe just a pet peeve of mine, but picking up stuff. I don't know. You have to loot a lot in this game, I guess, or that's what I do at least. And, uh, like, I'm always overcumbered. And, uh, I can't pick up what I want to pick up. Like, it, I have to, like, really focus my mind on aiming, like, my center screen on that thing so I can select. It becomes a hassle. Why can't I just... I don't know. Why isn't there a way for me to aim better, I guess? I don't know how to say it. It, it, it feels kind of clunky a little bit that way. Am I the only one who, who has this problem, or...? Um, it's, I, I'm just kind of used to it, because I've played, since okay. Oblivion, I've played Oblivion, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, you know, like... Yeah. I had I just, you just thing. get used. You just grab everything you can, and then later on, go in your inventory and drop whatever you picked up that you don't want. That's basically all. Oh, I like. I just sell keep spamming all my the stuff. Yeah, I sell exactly. all my stuff, and also it's a good idea to pick things up. Go to a mer- wait. I just said that. Yeah, just sell your stuff to get gold. Yeah, that's yeah. A, and acquire bitches. Why is this elk running away from me, bro? I just want to kill you. <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, I, I, I was doing that. I was just picking up everything, and then when I, whenever I was too overcumbered, I would just drop whatever's worthless, like whatever way, uh, whatever was. Worthless. Usually, what I go by is if it's if it's less than two gold that you'll get for it, I or worth whatever. Um, I don't pick it up. No, no, only two gold. All right, I was I was dropping stuff that was worth ten gold. I guess I'm I'm bad. Well, yeah, I mean you can do that. It's not a big deal. All right. So, uh, is this a, an improvement? Is this great or better yeah. or just? Medium? There's a, they they read they refined a lot of aspects like the combat, obviously the graphics. Um, it's a lot more user friendly and not but not in a way where it dumbs it down for like the people who are like hardcore fans of the series. Um, but, like, if you've never played, like, this is a good Elder Scrolls game to start with if you've never played them. Because yeah. you can still learn about the mythology. There's books everywhere you can read or you can just go on a Wikipedia. Oh, and, I gave know. up on reading those shit. I picked up my first <laughs> book. I was like, oh, okay, Always read book. books because they might give you, they might give oh, you experience. I love the lusty what? Argonian maid in uh, Oblivion. Yeah. They had, like, they had, like <laughs> sex, sex stories. What There's the some fuck? funny books. You'll you'll read yeah. some funny shit in there. What it's are, pretty awesome. Are you, this is nuts. I would. I, I don't have that much time. I picked up a book, and I was like, "Oh, okay. Let's let's just read this real quick." And I started flipping the pages. There were like 25 pages of text. Yeah, and they and have then, a lot of books in each game. And then yeah, there was an do. option to just pick it up and read it later. I was like, "Oh yeah, I'll do that." And then five minutes later, I find another book. I was like, "If I read both these books, I'm stuck here for like a half hour just reading books." <laughs> I'm like seriously, like I can do that on on a tablet if I want to, you know. I, oh I, my god, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like walking, and there's leaves blowing in the wind. It's really a uh, they did really great. Are it's just like butterflies. PS3, it's really great game you just guys, to look at. Uh, yeah. You're playing on PS3, right, Kelly? I am. Uh, Diction, what are you playing on? Xbox. Xbox. I think it's the nicest game I've ever played on Xbox. I don't know about you guys. It but, looks. Really sexy. Yeah, I heard it's only one disc too on Xbox. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which I was like, how are they doing this? What is it? Yeah, is it like seventeen discs on PS3? What is it? Well, one. Oh, it's only one. All right. PS3 only always has one. Did they release it on PC? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's probably best to get it on PC. You can do mods where it just changes stuff up, and the graphics would be obviously a little bit better. But I heard they designed it for consoles, so even the PC version isn't much better. I feel like I would have a much easier time with my mouse trying to pick stuff up. I don't know if it's just me. Like, I could just point and click and start picking stuff oh, up. Oh, yeah, it would be a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I heard the interface for the menus is designed for consoles, though, and they... And so the PC is, like, it still works off of, like, the console menu oh, design yeah, or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, because to access your menu, you have to hit B, and then there's an arrow menu, I guess. You point up, left, right, or down. 
Yeah, yeah exactly. like so If you have to do that on PC, I'm going to laugh my ass off. It's going to be... It's, it's, that's <laughs> they'll really probably sad. patch it. They'll, I'm sure they'll patch it and make it more... I easy. mean, they have, Ditch. like... Oh, oh look who's Oh, hi. Okay. That, that was Wings' stream. Yeah. Oh, oh gosh. Uh-huh. All right, that's cool, but uh, we're we're in the middle of a professional podcast here, Chiz, so if you want to join, that's great. If you want to sleep, then that's fine. I don't know the, the meaning process. of the word. We uh, we were talking about uh, Skyrim, Chiz. Have you played the game at all? No, I have not. That would be a good question for Kelly Dixon you. That's what we're that's what we were discussing before you blatantly intruded on our Go track. on, I'll go om nom. All right. So uh so yeah, uh do you think in the f- let's say 3 months from now are you guys playing Skyrim or are you guys playing Modern Warfare 3? Skyrim. Really? I'll probably still play Modern Warfare 3 like for like when I want to get together with my friends online and play with them, you know, but as far as like an actual like Am I am I asking? St- oh, go ahead. I'll I'll just I'm I'll I'll be investing more time in Skyrim than I will Modern Warfare three over the next three months. That's for sure. Am I asking too much when I want to say that I want to do this with like I want this I want this to be an, an MMO? Is that asking too much? I think they they've they've bandied around the uh, the bandied around the idea of doing the Elder Scrolls as an MMO. But the, the thing is that they they have this story arc. Okay. That's 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 like been going on for like six games or something or five games. So they need to like end that, and then they're gonna try to like figure something out for the MMO. Oh, okay. But, but uh, I mean, so did uh, Fi- Final Fantasy was a was an RPG, and then it became an MMO and went, and went back to be an RPG. Yeah, because the MMO was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was all right, dude. It was it was it was it was World at War esque, uh, not mm-hmm. World at War, uh, World of Warcraft esque. It, it was kind of like that. I mean, you still had a storyline. And you can still go ahead and, and go through the story. And I, 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 don't, I don't see why you can't do that. I mean, you, you can just do a story, story with your friend. I mean, I would love to play this game with some of you guys and just, you know, hop on. Like, since I'm a noob, maybe take some pointers and actually play with you guys, see what's up. But I don't know. Apparently I can't. Maybe that's just me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have a few links. You guys want to hop into that? Or you guys uh, yeah. have something else to say about Skyrim? No? Can I come sit at the big boy table now? No. Chiz, you were invited about an hour ago. It's up to you. So I'm bringing uh, my sippy cup at least. All right. So we're we're hopping right into the Huffington Post uh, articles, Chiz. And uh, let's let's start with you right now. Um, what do you think of this? Uh, there's a guy named Raymond Harris. <laughs> he stole a murdered nurse's wedding ring. <laughs> oh my god. To propose what? to his girlfriend. <laughs> well, I mean, it's better than him going and buying one of those trinkets out of like those quarter machines at the supermarket. Is that I mean, generous or being a complete but, douche? But there's not a dead woman's like blood on it. I mean, it's not being a douche, but it sure is creepy as fuck. <laughs> I figured he cleaned it, you know. I would. <laughs> You know, if he's taking rings off of, you know, murdered people, who no, knows? No, he murdered her, though, it not. says, though. Did he murder Wait, her? Wait, he, he murdered was, her? He was charged with first-degree murder and robbery. Yes, he was. Okay, then. Dude, he, he absolutely did it, but... so legit. This dude <laughs> kills the bitch, steals her ring, goes back home, puts one knee down and proposes to his girlfriend right then and there. And then and the chick is like, oh, my God, this ring is awesome. He's like, yeah, baby, I got this for you. But uh, turns out he killed the girl and stole the ring. That's I mean, a, dedication. If that's not a gesture of love, I don't know what. No, it is. but wait, wait. I mean, think. I, just, just think about it. You, <sighs> you killed her. You might as well rob her, right? I mean, that's not going to get you into more trouble. No? I mean, it, it will. But if it's murder, you're probably not going to see. I mean, it'll add an extra year. <laughs> I don't see a problem with it. I mean, that's like saying, well, you know, I killed her. Why not just rape the corpse? <laughs> well, yeah, but, um, like, she could have, like, a daughter who could inherit that ring. Or it could be, like, this well, I assume ring that, like, the whole family passed down. Oh, look at you with your sentimental point of views. I don't know. I, I just... I feel- mean, I'd be pissed off if a guy did that. I'd be like, buy me a fucking ring. It's not that goddamn hard. Three, it's three paychecks, right? I don't think That's, she knows. Well, she should know. Imagine but if this. I found out. 
Imagine this: your 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 mother gets gets killed, and a few weeks later, you see this chick running around with your with your mother's ring. Yeah. What are the <laughs> odds of that? that uh, small world, bro. <laughs> it is. But that would be fucked up. Like you're like, yeah. whoa, double take. That's 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 my mom's ring right there. Oh, dude, I would I would I would steal her ring, wouldn't you? In your position, you you killed her. You you might as well steal her ring, right? Yeah, but I wouldn't give it to my fucking girlfriend. That's like yeah, why am I admitting, that's admitting wait, guilt wait, right he, there? Wait, he killed the nurse. Or yeah. he didn't. No, he uh, he's he's charged with it. Oh, well, I don't want to kill someone. No, but like you already did. Like you just killed her out of anger and rage. Well, and... say she attacked me. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's self. Oh, sure. I'd take a ring if she attacked me. I'd be like, "Fuck you." What if? if I... What if and she then... beat you at Call of Duty and she like sent you messages and trolled you and like commented on your videos and on your channel saying how bad you were and how much of a scrub you were and then you just raged so hard and went to like this mental state of distraught and fucking anger and then just murdered her and then you like snapped out of it you're like oh my god what the fuck is going on I killed this girl do you steal her ring then? (laughs) no like no (laughs) Are you no. trying to justify? Like, have you murdered someone before? Is this no, what you're trying to tell the world? That's how he rolls. I'm, 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 I'm trying to make a point here, and I don't know. Yeah. You're just a big money hungry warmonger. Maybe I am. <laughs> All right. So, so there's there, there, there's this other link here on the Huffington Post. Um, this lady right here, her name is Marcia Emanuel. Uh, T, maybe maybe link the stream because this this picture here is uh, is pretty epic of that's her. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's a pretty that's good. Pretty picture. good. Um, she is a, a mom. That's, that's a meth picture. <laughs> yeah. she, she is a mom. <laughs> lives, meth. lives in Florida. Allegedly, this isn't for sure. Allegedly, she. <laughs> she <laughs> it's, a, it's a good picture. Allegedly, she beat a school bus driver, and then uh, proceeded to expose herself to cops. When when uh, the cops came over and arrested oh, her, right? Sounds like an episode of Cops. <laughs> <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Oh. But like, look at her. She looks she looks fucked up. I, she looks I, like, I thought it said yeah. it said right here the the ledger's according to the ledger's dispatch manual boarded and refused to leave the bus. I thought it said bearded. <laughs> she bearded the bus. No shave November. All right, let's see what this bitch looks like. My mom actually. Oh my god! Take off the mustache. From my profile picture, as well as the Strictly Dick on my YouTube channel. She <laughs> said, those are the only things that I don't really like. The and mustache was a big deal, see, really? She doesn't like to see the mustache, she says. Did you tell her that's what makes you, you? <laughs> yeah, that's your that's your whole YouTube persona. You're you're the mustache girl who, who hates cats. <laughs> I should have told her that. Then she then she goes and um, can you can you explain to me what people mean when they say that's what she said? Oh, my, mom, my mom watches YouTube videos. Like but she'll you, creep on like the people I talk to and she'll watch their videos. It's uh, funny. And then she'll ask me about it. I'm like, how do you even know about that? What the fuck? I am so happy that my parents are French and understand nothing in English. So wh- whatever I do or whatever I post, it's all way above their heads and they have no idea what's going on. It's great. Penis, dicks, and boobs, mom. Yeah. Yeah, I told her, I was like, Ma, I can't remove the dick thing because the whole YouTube community is like dicks. And she's like, okay, fine. Like, she, my mom's really cool. Like, she's got a dirty mind. She's crazy. I don't know why she just, I don't know. I don't understand. Maybe maybe she was like, hey, my uh, my girl makes all that YouTube money. She's into her own thing. She does oh, her yeah, YouTube she channel. Here people's... you go. Here's a Twitter account. <laughs> Strictly dick. K-pop with a mustache. No, what she did. She told me <laughs> 10K that. 10K uh, followers. <laughs> she's, a, she's a bus driver now. It's like the only job she could find because she had to get a job. And uh, she tells her kids to look me up on YouTube. And then, <laughs> oh, and then yeah, like, a few, like one of her girls came up to her and was like, yeah, I looked up your daughter, and um, in her video, she was like, I don't give a fuck what people think about me. <laughs> like, <laughs> your old girl copying what I said. They clicked on one of your, like, hate videos where you, like, just went off on people? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Your daughter was wearing a nun costume, and there was a samurai, so I'm a little confused, ma'am. 
Yeah. People, I get a lot of messages of people asking me, are you a real nun? Well, you kind of look like a nun do with a nun costume. And then I had one where someone was like, do you actually, do you want to be a real nun? That'd be cool. And I was like, no. no <laughs> I don't. getting PMs from, like, priests out there. We're like, we can convert you, Kelly. This could work out. <laughs> yeah, right? No, I, I was on the train the other day, and there was this guy, he had pamphlets for, like, finding God and Jesus, whatever. And he skips everyone on the train and comes up to me and gives it to me. And he had a bunch of them, but he skipped everyone on that train except me. Was your non-costume sticking out of your bag? No, no. I look completely normal. I was like, what the hell, man? I didn't say that, but I was like, did he really just skip everyone except me? Did everyone else look homeless, though? Everyone else was black. Okay. Well, what's up with racist. all our racist comments, Kelly? I'm just, no, that's that's the truth. That's the only difference is that I can <laughs> tell you between black, me and the other racist. people. Uh, it's just it's just a fact. I know it, it, it's fine. Oh, uh, but that guy's racist. <laughs> we have a. Uh, he was black too. Oh, <laughs> then he just into that white girl, big booty bitches. Maybe. We no. have uh, we have one last post from the Huffington. Um, uh, this one's pretty good. I'm just going to read the, the title because that, one, that one's epic. Uh, Sex with animals can lead to penis cancer, study says. That's right. Uh, all right. Wait, what? <laughs> Sex with animals can lead to penis cancer. You're good, Kelly. You don't have a dick anymore. Well, shit. Did you say any more, Chess? Yeah, since the operation. <laughs> and there's like a picture of like a cute cow. What oh the fuck? God. I want to see the cow. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the link. <laughs> it's a pretty good <laughs> picture, man. I'm like, well, it's like staring at you with like the nice, cute little eyes. I don't want to pet like, it. Please don't. <laughs> it's like I will give you. Just let dick. me graze. <laughs> I want to see the end of the picture where like some big ass dude is like ramming her in the ass. He's like, come on, take the milk, just go. <laughs> yeah, just just have the milk. Uh, everything else is is mine. But uh, oh god, so. You look so defeated. Apparently, you you can tell the people who like to fuck animals by whether or not they have penis cancer. And by the way, I, I, oh I never God. knew there was a, I, I never knew there was a cancer for penis. I, you didn't know that. The I knew there for like any part of your body. Yeah, I knew, I knew there was like t- testicular cancer, but I I didn't I, I never knew there was penis cancer. What does penis oh, cancer no- do? Like, is <laughs> is it deadly? It's like any other cancer. <laughs> I don't even know what cancer does. I'm not gonna lie. It's a you. mutation in your body that eventually kills you. Yeah. It's like a cell mutation. So so I could have a self-mutating dick? Is that what you're saying? Look, I know what you're going to do. There's no <laughs> way it's going to be positive. I don't know. This, 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 this is... I don't know. This, you won't like grow a second head or something creepy like that. Will it grow uh, bigger? Is, is, is this the secret to grow your dick bigger? I see all these ads everywhere. Yeah, it's called a tumor. <laughs> oh. I could have a tumor on my dick? All right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to drop this. Uh, <laughs> Ke- <laughs> Kelly, you want to hop into the Would You Rathers? Yeah, 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 yeah sure. Um, let me find one. I have, These books are excellent. I got two books. One's Would You Rather, the dirty version, and then the other one is Would You Rather, Love and Sex. All right. And so I figured those would be the funniest. Oh. And uh, let me I, find I, one. I thought we could have the stream vote on Would You Rather, uh, okay. Love and Sex, or Dirty. This one is good. Would you rather have all your sexual thoughts automatically tweeted to your parents or have all your parents' sexual thoughts automatically tweeted to you? And we'll say you use Twitter regularly, so. Okay. Uh, Start with the beginning here, Chiz. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, Have theirs tweeted to me because I know God knows one of their sex drives is dead. So, you know. You yeah, know I'm what, fine with that. I think you underestimate the sex drive of your parents. It's not because they're older that they don't have a sex drive. No, it's my because don't. there's no sex I, drive. No, I'm not kidding. Not. <laughs> my, my dad has been single for like fucking, I don't know. More the reason years. to, Chiz. More the reason to. Yeah, he probably thinks really freaky things. Then. Yeah, he's probably all up in that bestiality. But I'm fine. Cancer. It's not like I have to retweet them, so go ahead and spam my feed. Oh, God. It's better than NASA 1 retweeting for an hour. 
for an hour for a fucking year. But uh, <laughs> okay, all right. So so Chiz wants his parents tweeting him dirty, dirty things. No, 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 no. Hold on. I don't think either of my parents could figure out how to run Twitter. So no, I might no, use no. You, no, there's no way you're getting away with this. Uh, they know how to use Twitter in this question. Okay, then I go with the other one. Oh, so you're tweeting your dirty, your dirty thoughts? No, they're tweeting to me. Oh, all right. All right, that works. Uh, addiction? Uh, them tweeting to me because I know for a fact my parents have no sex drives. Again, I think you're... And even if they... Even if they... Okay, even if they did, it would be, like, the most, like, mundane, like, I want to kiss you with my tongue, like, bullshit, you know? <laughs> that wouldn't really bother me. Let's hold hands. Yeah, exactly. Addiction, maybe your... Maybe your parents are hiding something from you that, that, uh, that you... Yeah, it's always, like, the one... If they see. are, I would find that fascinating. I'd be like, holy shit, <laughs> my parents are kind of cool. Like, it wouldn't really bother me that much, honestly. Because <laughs> like, I don't picture shit like that in my head, you know? What if, like, you just see, like, at eat my diction... Uh, I would love to grab your father and tie him up and have my way with him, and then like, just, just carry <laughs> cotton. I'd be like, I'd be like, cool, mom. You can't get mad at me when I do that to chicks now. <laughs> <laughs> they shouldn't have like like this epic tweet, <laughs> tweet like back and forth with, like his mom about like dirtiest fucking things. Yeah, all and right. you would all have to watch it because I'd retweet every second of it. You would be fucking weirded out. Scarred for life. <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, do you guys have family members who follow you on Twitter? No, nope. I don't think Thank I'm God, I no. do on Facebook <laughs> on my Facebook fan page, which is why I don't really t- like do yeah. a lot of statuses on it. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't have that. Uh, I know some of my friends stalk my Twitter feed, and uh, they uh, you yeah. Have friends. No, I make them up. I buy it's them. Funny. Like, she uh, said YouTube it, subs. but I was thinking it. <laughs> I buy them with uh, YouTube uh, YouTube <laughs> money, uh, and uh, buy YouTube subs as well. With uh, the cool links I tweeted earlier, but uh, hey, I never got that. <laughs> yeah, um, Kelly, what would you choose? I would have them tweet to me. I mean, just because I had a be- my one of my best friends in high school would always ask my mom the weirdest fucking questions. Oh, was he a perv? So I already know a bunch of shit that I didn't want to know. So I feel like whatever. I don't care anymore. Wait, because your mom answered the questions? Yeah, like right in my face. And I, I was just like, oh my god! Like, wow. Like my best friend really just like I don't know. She'd be like, "Have you ever had anal? How big is your husband's penis? Like stuff like that." What? I was like, oh my fucking god! Wow. Like they were just both pervs. And she answered. Yeah. So now you know the the size of your father's dick. Yeah. Is that the, what <laughs> oh my god! I feel Stop. like I want to probe more into this. Yeah, no, I, I, so I had a gay on. friend who would yeah ask that stuff too. It's fucking weird. I had a bunch of friends ask my mom weird cre- questions. I don't know why. Wow. Because my mom's chill, I guess. But and they were all like, "Oh, let's ask her sexual questions. That's a good idea." So, so Kelly's a racist with a uh, sexually enthusiastic mother. <laughs> I don't know if she's enthusiastic <laughs> about it. But she sure is if she's answering those, like, if... Yeah, she'll if, answer the questions. If, I don't think she's, like, I don't I don't want to think about this. My <laughs> mom is, like, uber-Catholic. Like, there is no way that she is answering. Like, you can't even mention sex when it comes to my mother. Like, there's there's nothing there. It's not happening. There's It's not, no. But, uh, all right. So, if, if I were to answer my own question, I guess I would also go with uh, having my parents tweet at me. But not for the same reasons. Um, I think of some fucked up things sometimes, and uh, I like to keep those to myself. <laughs> so, yeah, I probably wouldn't be proud of, of the thoughts I would tweet automatically. Um, yeah, not going to happen. So I, I don't think I would like to tweet those shit out, especially to my parents. Uh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll just have them tweet at me and be fucked up and scarred for the rest of my life, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that sounds good, right? Um, all right, Kelly, next one. All right, this one's weird. Yeah, like, <laughs> like the other one wasn't. But. <laughs> Who would you rather have in your bedroom during sex? A wise, grizzled golf caddy who stands by the side of the bed and offers you tips on your form, or a tennis ball boy who <laughs> who quickly sprints across the bed and puts it back in any time it slips out? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I already have my answer. All right, cheers. Wait, one more time, read that. All right. Who would you rather have in your bedroom during sex? A wise, grizzled golf caddy who stands by the side of the bed and offers you tips on your form, or a tennis ball boy who quickly sprints across the bed and puts it back in any time it slips out? Dude, I'm going with the old golf caddy. 
He didn't yeah. coach me, and I immediately thought of Morgan Freeman for some reason yeah. because uh, <laughs> I did too. Because uh, wasn't he the golf caddy in yep. Happy Gilmore? Yep. Yeah. Immediately thought of that. I want that guy. <laughs> Easy answer. All right. Diction. Yeah, that one because she said <laughs> "vol boy," so there'd be a little boy touching my penis. Touching me? Yeah. Not no, cool. no. Not well, cool. let's just like in this case say not. there's nothing wrong with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. He's over eighteen, and so it's weird. nothing everything sexual. Wrong with that. <laughs> It's it's what? cool. It's not like if well, it's... if a little okay, if a if a male anyone a any freeze. age grabs my dick to, for <laughs> any reason, I'm probably going to lose my boner pretty quickly. Just saying. No, but he's so, helping you out, bro. He's I know like, he's helping. The intent is not the problem. <laughs> it's the fact that it's a male hand, probably cold, grabbing my penis while I'm inside of a woman. It's not gay if it's in a three. But you're not inside. That's the problem. You're trying to get him, but it's not working out. No, it's, she said slips out, so I've been going at it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 but you're going at it, but, like, you're in this awkward Kama Sutra-like position, and, like, like it, it's kind of like hard. I don't like being ruined by little children touching my baby. <laughs> no, but, like, your leg is above your head, and you're, like, grabbing what? onto, like, some rope above the <laughs> ceiling. Like, you're just, you're, like, trying this awkward... See, awesome. if I had the caddy telling me, like, tips, I wouldn't get <laughs> that position. You would have told me not to do that. <laughs> oh my God. That's, the, that's the beautiful part about the, you won't even bother, so you won't even have to slip out because this guy's telling you all the right moves. I feel it's like if the caddy will be, like, a hips. Debbie Downer, he's like, nah, that ain't cool, bro. Did you, you see to... Happy like, Gilmore with Morgan Freeman? You. Yeah, he died, bro. Morgan Freeman. It, right. Yeah, it was. it was. No, that was uh, Carl Weathers. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Racist. He looked a lot like Morgan Freeman, though. Yeah, he did. At all. <laughs> yeah, someone in the chat said, can it be a tennis girl? How about a tennis girl? Yeah, yeah. What if, it's a, if, what if it's a caddy who's a woman and it's a tennis chick? Well, then, uh, why? Why I'd just be like, well, you need to stop this. Let's just have a three-way here. Yeah. Like, why just come popping in here whenever I slip out? Uh, all right. Kelly, what are you choosing? I want the one that puts it back in. Yes. Thank you. Why? Because I don't like when that happens, and it would just be easier. I don't know. I don't want some guy, like, talking while I'm having sex. Yeah, like, he's like, he's oh, like, you're doing it all wrong. Like, can you get the fuck out, please? I'll do it how I want. <laughs> See, Kelly, I'm right there with you. When I'm going at it, and I'm, I'm going ham, right? I'm bam, 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 bam. And then, like, it slips out, and you're like, fuck. And then, like, just... Yeah, it's some, annoying. Yeah, some dude just... Boom! Sprints across the room, and then he just puts it's it back like it in. Never even happened. Gives you a high five. You're like, "Yeah, buddy, thanks." And you bam, <laughs> bam, bam again. Then he he just like kneels down like the other end of the bed, <laughs> and, he, and he's like clapping and yeah, yeah, cheering yeah. On. yeah, yeah. He's good to go. Like he brings you a towel at, at the end. You like throw it back in his face. Like if you just don't give a shit anymore. Because, like, ball boys are treated like shit on the... I love how we agreed that it could be a ball girl, and you're still rocking out the ball boy. (laughs) Like, you're so happy. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, I got a ball boy. I'm going to get investigated by the FBI soon enough. I know I will. You're in Canada. They don't give two shits and a fuck as long as you don't, like, kill a moose. (laughs) Thank you, Chiz. (laughs) All right, uh, next one. You you got one more? Well, I have a few more. I have so many. Go for it. Would you rather drink a pint of lukewarm asparagus pee or 16 ounces of chilled ball sweat? What's oh. this? What's this Wait, ball what was the quantity pee? of uh, the what was the quantity of the piss? Oh, I lost the question one. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. 16 ounces. Well, it's it's pee. How so. much do people pee? Oh, I don't All right, know. so it's like one. So it's like a it's a pee amount. So it's a one full piss. Let's just say they're the same quantity for the sake. We'll of say it's a decent piss too. It's not like one of those little peas. It's a drunken next morning piss. Yeah, and and asparagus pee is bad. Yeah, it's, it's really bad. It smells yeah. very strong. Yeah. Freaks. All right, Chiz, what are you going for? And the other one was ball sweat. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the piss. All right. Uh, I don't really have a reasoning. I feel it's the lesser of two evils, and, yeah. you know, that's all I can really say. <laughs> I've got no positive for drinking piss. <laughs> all right, Diction? Piss, because sweat is salty. 
and that just like that, that 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 grosses me out even more. He's like, uh, uh-uh, uh, ain't drinking no. Either way, shit. I'm gonna throw it up as soon as I know, right? my mouth. So yeah. it's like, I'll probably be able to, I'll, I'll, the pee will probably be better. It won't linger. Uh, okay, Kelly. All right, I like. I actually like the taste of sweat. Like when I'm working <laughs> out, I don't mind it. I don't mind. Yeah, but this is ball sweat. <laughs> I know it's ball sweat, but would it taste the similar? Dirty ass. It ball would. Sweat. It would taste. It would taste. Well, it depends on so, how <laughs> hygienic the guy is and how often he washes down. I'd there. just go with the ball sweat. I feel like it would taste the least weird. It would either taste like normal, like water. Yeah, it's totally normal. Or it's salty. I can do that. I don't want to drink fucking asparagus pee. That's gross. Could I boil it? Um, and no, the, it was, um, the asparagus pee would be cold. No, wait. No, the asparagus, asparagus pee was to be lukewarm. Oh. Warm. And then, um, the ball sweat would be cold. Because for some Chilled. reason, I just, I just figure asparagus pee to be kind of greenish. And I associate that with green tea. For some reason, I, I find that to be not that bad. I don't know. It asparagus kind of, tea? Yeah, it kind of attracts me some way. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just weird, but uh, yeah, green tea. It attracts tea. you? <laughs> <laughs> no, it like it, it. It sounds like a great idea compared to ball sweat. Like ball sweat's just disgusting. There's nothing good about ball sweat. Um, asparagus pee. At least you have some asparagus in there. That's actually good for your body. Uh, if you're boiling it, I think it would taste something like green tea. I don't know. Maybe I'm totally off, but, uh, I don't know. I'm going to go with the, uh, with the asparagus piss. Yep. Bring it to me. Boil it. Stick a little bag in there and, you know, boil it around. I think it'd be good. (laughs) You got one more, Kelly? Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me find one really quick here. There's so many good ones. Hmm. So many good ones. Do, 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 do. I keep like flipping the same page. Is this like well, a book or something, it. Kelly? Yeah, it is. Oh, you're just randomly flip- flipping pages. <laughs> um, what's an annoying theme song? Uh, the, the one that. Okay, George never mind. I have heart just sang. Um, <laughs> yeah, the Jeopardy one. A woman who okay, would you rather date a woman who loves to give oral sex, but while doing it hums the Jeopardy theme song, oh. or, or a woman who talks filthy but speaks in the voice of Yosemite Sam? <laughs> Yosemite Sam, Yosemite Sam. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that would be awesome. They, should, they have some sort <laughs> of the weird hum fetish? sex ever? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my God! Uh, all right, Chiz, what are you doing? I mean, for the realist answer, I'm going with the first one. I want to get blown. But honestly, the Yosemite Sam thing would be the funniest shit ever. I don't think I could get off. I'd be too busy laughing all the time. <laughs> you know how fucking awesome that would be? <laughs> all right. All right. Diction? I, I, Yosemite Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have some sort of fetish we're not aware of? No. No, that would just be really... I, that's That's really entertaining to me. And I have no problem laughing and fucking at the same time. <laughs> whatsoever. Diction is like recording it just to, you know, listen to it on a, on on his iPod on his window. Nah, I'm gonna upload that shit. YouTube money. <laughs> Yosemite <laughs> Sam porn. Yep. Okay. It's gonna get Kelly. <laughs> um. Oh god, they're. Bo- I kind of like them. I like them both. Um. Well, the Jeopardy one, just because I don't know. Like the humming thing would be good, the oral sex thing would be good. Yeah, I but then like... the Yosemite Sam thing would be really funny. Yeah, but do you want good or funny? Yeah, I don't. I'll go with good. Yeah, exactly. See, I feel like if any kind of humming is good, you know, Jeopardy song or not. So why not go with the Jeopardy humming bitch? I mean, I don't have a problem with that. She probably has a fucking talent or two if she can hum the Jeopardy song will blow my cock. I mean. That 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 sounds like a keeper right there, if you ask me. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I could, you know, ever come again if I'm dating a chick who 
talks like Yosemite Sam. So, yeah, no, no, no. I want my dick blown by a chick who can hum the Jeopardy song. Make a t-shirt out of that, people. Do it. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we're about an hour and five minutes in. Let's, uh, let's do one more. And, uh, let's call it quits after that. Make it good. Make yeah, it snap. make it All right, I, I best wanna make, one. Yeah, I want to make it really good. Hmm. Make it good, Kelly. Doom, 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 doom. Haha! <laughs> oh my god, that T-shirt's amazing. Which one? Uh, I'm gonna link it. For everyone should go buy this. <laughs> what is the shirt? I want to see. He's eating. Okay, That's so portal. Yeah, for for people who aren't who, who can't see this, it's uh it's a gray T-shirt. Oh. And the guy is uh, eating a cube from Portal, and he's also drinking in a bowl that looks like the eye. Uh, what's it called? The Glados. Glados, yeah, the eye from Glados. And there seems to be. Is that? To- oh no, that, that's not toilet paper. That's uh, that's Glados's body right there. That's that's a pretty good shirt. Not gonna lie. I'm buying one. Wait, <laughs> is it from that one site? Let me see. Shirt woot, yep. Oh, this is fucking awesome. I'm totally getting this. This is the best side addiction has ever linked it, to. It's pretty amazing. That is just fucking tits McGee right there. Well, this one's just weird. Like, I like how it's, it is, it is, but it's, it's just wrong. <laughs> like, it's just stupid. It's, would you rather have a pet parakeet that repeatedly says the black man is using the Jew as his muscle to enslave the white race, or... <laughs> That's Kelly's answer right there. Or have the family dog talk dirty to you while he's licking his genitals. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, all That's right. the weirdest would you rather ever. What the fuck? Is this in the sex category one or so, what? Wait, the first one is a racist what? Parakeet, I think. Yeah, a racist parakeet. And the other one uh, is... I wouldn't want a parakeet dog. anyway. They live to be like 105. That fucking sucks. Yeah. That's Aren't awesome. Aren't this uh, what coal miners really? bring in? Is it? Mm-hmm. Or it is? Parakeet? Yeah. What? Wait, what? Just, I'm just talking about... Uh, I'm going to answer to avoid the what's. Uh, obviously, the racist bird. Because then when I get mad one day, because, like, Dixon said they're going to live forever, I can just kill it. Wow, you soulless piece of shit. You were talking about murdering women and looting them. Do not even get me started on morals. <laughs> no one here likes money more than you. All right, all right. Dixon? Uh, I can do it with a dog. Dog's fine. Really? So you'd enjoy a dog looking his testicles being like... It would be like a nice, like... You know, like having like a dinner party and it starts happening. I'm like, that's my dog. He talks. <laughs> he has like a very white voice too. Like your dog's very rude. Like I know, but he talks. That's amazing, right? And they're like, okay, yeah. And then they give me money. <laughs> he talks, yeah, when he says how much he wants to suck your cock. Oh, this one chiseled like it's this flattering. one. All right, we'll do it after. Um, Kelly, which one are you choosing for this one? The dog. I think it would be really funny. <laughs> Because then if you have the racist one and you invite people over, they're going to think you're racist. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you taught it to say that, you fucking racist? Yeah. And then the dog's just like, that's a fucking... That's weird. And you could put it on YouTube and make lots of money. You too, buddy. I would love to have a fucking dog that would talk shit to me. That would be awesome. He's not talking shit to you. He's kind of hitting on you. Yeah, yeah. I have, I have a female dog. I have, I have a bitch. I'm, I'm down. I don't, do, I don't see a problem with that. I mean, I, I probably share more stuff with my dog than I do with my girlfriend anyway. What's the? I don't see a problem. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with the dog on this one. That one sounds just easier. And, and dude, parakeets are fucking gay. I don't like them. All right then. <laughs> All right, we we got a last one. Apparently, Chiz is gonna like this one. Yeah. Would you rather have sex with Siamese triplet Jessica Albas? <gasps> so like they're Siamese, so they're all attached to each other. But there's three uh, of them. There's yeah. three of them. But they're attached by where? Um. Hmm. 
Let's just Please say by the, their the head. sides. Okay, by the hips? Sides. All right. Yeah, by the hips. Um, or just the singular version. I think I've been asked this before, and I'm going to go with just the singular one. All I need is one. As gay and lame as that sounds, like, I know why you picked that particular person, because I would just... Oh, no, that's what the question was. Oh, is that seriously what the question yeah, was? Yeah, that's why I said she would like person? this one. I didn't really like the question wow. itself. Wow. Well, then pick one you like. Uh, totally just the one, because I would probably get creeped out with the others. Oh, okay. But can I just pick another one? Yeah, just pick I'm another one. Okay. That's sad. I want the three. I know you do. You're a little bit... Yeah, of... yeah. I would, too, just because it would be weird. I could have, like, a fucking Jessica Alba sandwich. Like, 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 I would be the middle, and, like, they would just wrap me. Yeah, let's just ignore the middle woman. <laughs> no! No, dude, you can, you can make a, tr- like, you could, no, you could. Well, then, that, then what you're talking about is more like a wrap or a burrito. Okay, fine, then, you fucking technical piece of shit. But, but, yeah, I could, I could wrap myself in Jessica Alba's and, like, just fondle everything for days. Think about the fun in that. I can yeah, have true. fun with one, but okay. All right. So I guess we're doing one more? Yes. yes. Would you rather eat an eclair full of semen uh, or a hot dog topped with fecal chili? I feel like that eclair full of semen is uh, from a movie, right? I have no idea. Hmm. All right. What was the first option again? An eclair full of semen. <laughs> Wait, what, what was the other one? Sorry. Oh, uh, a, a chili dog, and the chili is fecal matter. Oh, oh, semen. I'll do the semen. Yeah, semen for me. Yeah, semen. I won't die with that one. Yeah. Unless it's got AIDS. I'm, I'm not a fan of eclairs. I, I'm much more oh, come of a chili on. dog person. Yeah, no, but I'm not, I'm not going to. Yeah. Oh, dude, fecal matter, seriously, that's just disgusting. Um, I'll go with the eclair. Not although I'm not a big fan of eclairs, I think they're sloppy, and then they'll be much more sloppy with semen. I love how you're talking about the actual like food itself, and I know like it's got food. semen in it. It doesn't matter about the eclair part's not the issue. It's, it's basically do you want pork with semen? Or do you want I feel shit? like there should be more chocolate on the eclair. I think I think they kind of skimp out on the chocolate. What, like, what, okay, how about on top? On, the eclair has fecal matter fecal on the matter is chocolate. chocolate. Oh god, no. no see, Fecal matter is chocolate. Will you be okay with it then? No, no. You see, French motherfucker. But but if you were to put um, something less, I guess well, some, like something that, that that won't kill me on the on the uh, chili dog, I'd probably go with that. Not I'm, I'm I'm not a fan of eclairs, man. I'm really not. I'm I'm a hot dog guy. You're such uh-huh. a faggot. Like I can't even. They're the same it. shape. <laughs> It's not about the shape. Okay, so look. So I'm not a fan of when they make uh, food where it's not a fan of semen either. But you know, where it's all it's all filler. So and eclair, think about it. It's all fucking. I don't know what's it called. It's not bread, but it's you know the fucking. uh, It's a pastry. Yeah, pastry. It's all like it's. There's nothing good. I want a fucking. I I rather a brownie for all I care because it's all chocolate, right? And that's the way it works in a in a dessert. Like like it's when they custard. make it. Like I like, had one recently. It was delicious. Like when they make a cake and all of it, like there's only like a piece of like topping where it's like I don't know, hey, like glazing or I don't know, some kind of chocolate or maybe some a few cherries or or I don't know. Like, I I I want content. I don't want just fucking filler. And eclairs. Are we talking? Is this like a YouTube metaphor now or something? <laughs> I know. I was going to say. Eclair is is in that category. Where more we weapons t- analysis videos. I mean, <laughs> more cakes. <laughs> I don't like when it's just bullshit and there's no, uh, there's, there's nothing good in it. It's 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 like when a pizza is all crust and no fucking anything in it. That's that that that's the way I feel with an eclair. But that's just me. God damn! You totally missed the point of the fucking question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this one. This one's really funny. We don't have to answer it. Okay. <laughs> While you're having sex, would you rather your partner scream out, put your pee-pee in my vagina, vagina, I don't know what that is, Okay. or the theme, or not that, sorry, excuse me, kibbles and bits, kibbles and bits, I've got to get me some kibbles and bits. <laughs> <laughs> kibbles and bits. for me, yeah. Diction? Without a doubt. Kibbles and bits. <laughs> Kelly? Kibbles and bits all the way. Yeah, kibbles and kibbles tits. And bits. What if what if he's saying kibbles and bits in a Yosemite Sam voice? 
Oh, yes. That would be amazing. <laughs> Get off right away. <laughs> All right, all right. So this has been FNG episode forty nine. People, I want to thank uh, my usual co-hosts Kelly and Chiz for uh, ah, Chiz for coming on halfway late. Uh, thank yeah. you for being on. That was great. All right, you're welcome. It's good for the acknowledgement. Um, I said you're welcome. <laughs> all right. Uh, what do you want any Claire? Fuck you. I don't. They, they're, no, they're not that good. Uh, Diction, thank you for being a late guest, uh, coming on on such a short notice. Uh, it's great no to problem. have you on, and uh, we'll have you on some other time, too. Surely. All right. Episode 49 of FNG. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Meow. <laughs>